topic. We'd like to say it's an honor to be here in front of you wonderful people. Uh, I'm not as well known, but I appreciate the moment nevertheless. And it gives me a chance to, I guess, bring you back with Bill the Holy, who I haven't seen in a hundred years, and who is the ultimate teacher, dancer, director. She has all the virtues of those qualities. And in 1994, when I was the editor of Dance Pages, a magazine devoted to dance, we did a feature story on Billy. And when I read her resume, I just thought, hey, I'm gonna let this lady talk and I'll just get out of the way. Because she had a resume that would take three days to accomplish. Or oh, one thing I do remember about the interview is her passion for TV talk, dance, dance on for that show she wanted. And before she got the show, or when she knew she would get it, she researched and watched every show, including Johnny Carson. And after all this research, she realized that a lot of times the guests were sitting in uncomfortable looking positions. Their clothes scrunched up and they were not really, you know, what, what guests should be. And so Billy decided to scour New York and she finally found two tall stools and the guests could now they couldn't scrunch, they couldn't do anything but look elegant. <laughs> and that's what I do remember. The other thing I remember, and maybe Billy could clear it up today, I may be wrong. When we taught, she taught at, uh, on 56th Street in dance uh, rehearsal studio, uh, showcase. 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 And I watched one class of hers, and what she did was, before the class, she strung the studio with pink and blue lights. And I assume that was to give the pupils a sense of theater and a sense of performing, whether it was nightclub or stage or whatever. And am I right? Is that it? And so with all the accomplishments of, of uh, Julie Mahoney, what I would like to say is perhaps she should be called a dancer for all seasons. Thank you. Our next speaker is an institution in New York, and I want to invite him up now. It's uh, choreographer, director, dancer, Luigi. Five girls are the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and, and 50, 60 years ago, I made up uh, a phrase that I think belongs here tonight. To dance, put your hand on your heart, and listen to the sound of your soul. Oh. I first came to New York for happy hunting with Ethel Merman, Fernando Lamas, and 1956 pre-production. We went, it, we, we, went it, we, we opened it in, 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 uh, in, uh, 97? 57, 57. And there I met Billy Mahoney, uh, watching the show, seeing the show, and I think she probably is responsible for my being here tonight because she was with June Taylor. And all those June Taylor people, yeah, thank you. All the Jewish Taylor people said, you've got to get this boy from Hollywood to teach for us. He's, he's a Hollywood teacher. We've got to get him to teach for us. And so uh, I began teaching for June Taylor first, and she 
was my assistant and the only assistant I've ever had in my life teaching class, Lily Mahoney. And uh, also, best man at her wedding. Best man at her wedding. So, so I like that. Uh, I, I'm not a speaker. I'm not a speaker. And, uh, and, and, I agree, I'm not. And, 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 and Karen says, just, you, you talk good in class. Just, just say what you say. Blah, 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 blah. So, ladies, thank you very much. Blah, 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 blah. blah. No, we miss it tonight, huh? Okay, out of the hat. Woo! Okay, Miss Billy, pick out of the hat. Oh! Artist. Pick up, pick up. Excuse me. I still have to know me. Why don't you going to let her get you? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, come up, come up, come up. Give me the award. <laughs> <laughs> like we rehearse this a lot. Okay. Um, ladies and gentlemen, one of the important things about this organization is that it's not just a New York-based organization. It's national and it's international. We have members in Switzerland, in London, in Paris. We have Matt Maddox in Paris, John Minio in Japan. You know, many people around the world and all over the place. And the thing is, dance is over 40's responsibility to address their needs as well. So we always want to honor someone who's not in New York, but was in New York. And of all the people to choose, I thought of Billy Mahoney because I watched her show all the time. It was fascinating. I loved it. I would make sure I knew when it was on. It was on cable, and you had to know when it was on. And then, as Dance is over 40 happened, I realized that... Um, that she had a lot to offer even though she was not nearby. Every time we did a, a panel or a performance, she wrote me, oh, I did this with Jack Cole, remember about this, remember about that. And she always would write me about the events we were doing because she got our newsletter, which is our main important thing that we do. And the phone's ringing, but <laughs> anyway. It's Billy's agent. Right. 